what is Black British, is Black British Somali, is Black British Caribbean, is Black British Nigerian, is Black British Black people who were born here. With this particular project, I'm asking the question of what does it mean to be black and living in the UK? Now, I guess being black represents so much and means so much to so many people. How do we centralise and capture the stories? How do we centralise and capture the essence of what it means to be black and who we are? For me, growing up, I never really had a clear kind of mainstream understanding of what it meant to be black that I felt spoke to me. Growing up, it was very much, you know, you're a football player or you're an entertainer. Even that connection back to the continent wasn't so clear for me with regards to all the different types of African you have. Even in this day and age, there are so many misconceptions, like what a person is and should be. We come in different shapes and different sizes. It's about being seen, it's about being heard, being understood, being realised that we're humans. We're not credited enough for the things that we do and the, the difference that we make in the world. Showing black people in a positive light, promoting black stories. There's a lot of struggle stories. There's stories that are portrayed in the media do not show the, the beauty of blackness. We need to change the narrative. As a black person, again, growing up, I never really knew, you know, what does it mean to be black? What's the connection to the continent? Say my surname is Williams because of slavery. You know, you look at the history, a lot of people don't know, they're not familiar with things like the Berlin Conference where Europe got together and they divided Africa. We are more than just that narrative, we are more than just enslaved people. We are more than just what society is painting us out to be for so long. I feel in the UK specifically, we've not been able to claim that in a very centralised way, such as this is because it's always stories that speak to charity instead of change. It's always stories that speak to empathy instead of empowerment. And many years ago I said the success of empathy is making someone feel like you care, whereas the success of empowerment is making someone feel like you don't have to. So the moment a well-meaning white person or a well-meaning person that's not black doesn't have to care for me to change my reality is the moment I'm truly empowered. I hope that this project adds and contributes to the legacy and really pushing that dial forward and making sure that in 20, 30, 50 years time, many years when we're dead and gone, people will have a real understanding of what it meant to be black and what it felt like to be black living in the UK from the black perspective.